Check this out. Check this welcome, out. welcome to BLBA Big Show. Hockey sports, life for the adult athletes. Woo! Yeah. Powered by the Beer League Players Association. Better follow me. Follow us. The BLBA on every social media outlet. Follow the crew on Twitter at Nicker Jones. Let's get it. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome. To the greatest hockey show in the world. Good week, everybody. Good. Week. Hey, how how fucking fancy was that, Jason? That was super fucking fancy. Video overlays, just fucking around with shit, but that's how we do things now. Yeah, on the, on the BLPA Big Show. It's it's like we were gone for a month and shit just upgraded. So maybe if we take six months off, who knows what would fucking happen? We'd, we'd be on serious at yeah. that point. I can't. Yeah, exactly. You know? Hey, before we get going. Why don't you tell them where they can find us? They can find us on all socials. Uh, it doesn't matter where it is, uh, at the BLPA. They can find me on Twitter at Beer League Jason. And they can find uh, the commission over here at Nicker Jones on Twitter and at the Nicker Jones on Instagram. Yeah, that's where you can find us. Hey, also, uh, we, we have we have a lot of people. Um, oh, hold on, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Uh, we have a lot of people here uh, that are just says Facebook user stuff when they're in the chat. Uh, and I, I want you to, I'm going to post a link right now. And if you go to that link, it'll show us who you are. And now we will know, like I can see like John, he, he's done it. He, he, he knows we're fancy. Uh, and we're trying to get to a, a hundred, a hundred live followers. If we get to a hundred, hundred viewers right now, 100. And right now we're at 12, 11, 12. We get to a hundred. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to give away a free decks right here in this show. Oh, to be able shit. To but we also have other giveaways. Can I win? Out, we're going to figure out how to do, do this. I'm going to show you what we're going to give away. You ready? All first right. things first. Look at this bad boy. Bam. Wow. I, I have one of those. This was in the VIP box. We just had a little extra one. A little tank. Summer. A little summary. Look at Jason doesn't like sleeves. And I said, hey, bud, we got sleeves right here. Uh, we got no sleeves while we're sitting out. So Jason will like this. That's one thing we're giving away. <sighs> And then uh, this one, this this is probably my favorite jersey theme ever in the history, because um, it's because vintage, retro, like taking it back to the '80s. Well, the 1780s. That's a dope jersey. This is dope. And listen, I didn't play. This is this was this is my jersey, but I was like, you know what? I gotta I, I gotta I gotta give something away. Cool. This is my. I didn't play in it. This just was my favorite jersey. I was on the yellow team. We cleaned up that tournament. Not a big deal. Um, but we're gonna give that away. And uh, if someone is, is super ultra, ultra special, uh, you know, because our VIPs are super ultra special, right? They, sure. they subscribe to our box. They get really, 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 really cool shit. And this is some, was something I, I asked what the favorite thing we have this super secret Facebook group you wouldn't know about, Jason, because you're not on Facebook. Uh, and I asked what the favorite thing was. And this was the favorite thing uh, that most everyone said. And I said, well, you know, I got an extra lane around. So we're going to give it away on the BLPA Big Show. That's solid too. Listen, that jersey's so good. It had Frank thinking about joining the VIP box. One hundred percent. He literally, he literally said he's thinking about it, and I, I think we're, we're wearing them down. We're, Frank, I know that this was on uh, month six or month five, but if you if you VIP box us or Patreon us as a hockey god, not only will we call you a hockey god, Frank, I'll send you one of these, bud, in a goalie go. cut. In a yeah. goalie, you don't have to play. You don't have to play skate out for it. You can wear it between the pipes. I like it. Yeah. And, and as an added bonus to just Frank and Frank only. Okay. I will put a, a extra special Jersey together for the boxes, maybe on year on number one year, when you've been subscribed for a year, it'll be Chicago colors and it'll be okay. like that, that gray powder blue and red. So all I'm listen, saying is Frank, think about it. You know, we've done all we can. It's in Frank's hands now. I mean, listen, you, you can only do the Lord's work for so long. Yeah. Uh, before you realize that there's just some people that the Lord doesn't work on, you know? Yeah. We gotta we gotta no. let go and let Frank. But yeah. So Frank, balls in your court, pucks in your yeah. creed, whatever you want to say. I, you yeah, know. Do it. I don't know. What, I don't know what goalies say. Uh, yeah. Our listeners want to know who Frank is. Uh, Frankie Saturday is, bud. He's yeah. probably one of the best Saturday goaltenders in the history of, all of time. Uh, BLPA yeah. uh, and all time, but a BLPA for sure. And uh, Sundays. Yeah. You know, he, he struggles, uh, but we've been we've been wearing on him and I think we're wearing him down. And what we're talking about, guys, we're talking about the VIP box. Basically, you subscribe to the VIP box. You pay every month. You get badass swag. You get 10 percent off draft experience tournaments. And we're going to start doing special events for VIPs. Our first one, save the date, my friends, the week uh, the, or the Thursday before Columbus. 
Love and it. I can give you the exact date if you like it, but uh, it's going to go out in the VIP box. But we're going to have a big party. You get in free if you are a VIP member. I'm trying to – what do you – as a VIP member yourself, Jason, what do you think about plus ones? Like should we just charge plus ones or should we just say fuck you plus ones? How, how should I, we handle that? I think I think we should try to figure out a way that you can bring plus ones that makes uh, economical sense for both parties because uh, it's it, it's always more fun to have a party with a friend, right? And, sure. and all friends in the VIP group, but you know maybe you want to bring some outside friends to uh, to see what that VIP life is all about. Yeah, so maybe we just charge them like a month box. Yeah, we we get them like the month box, and then we'll send them a box. Yeah, for the following month, uh, maybe that's the, maybe that's the play. God, we're yeah. we're, we're smart as fuck, bud. Yeah, this is all off the dome too. We didn't talk about yeah. this before. Yeah, we, yeah, this is one of those ones where we haven't been together uh, for so long. Uh, that we uh, we're like you know what we talk about we're like we we have so many topics we're like I don't know we'll just fucking we'll figure it out as we go yeah. on here, but before we get to those topics before we get to those talk, topics I want to let you guys know that this show is brought to you uh, by HockeyWolf.com ow 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 ow, 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 ow. ow. HockeyWolf.com a bunch of beer league beauties just like you and and Jason and, and myself uh, they're just trying to make the game more affordable and more fun for people and you know what it is more fun when it's more affordable because you can buy more cool shit and play more hockey and drink more beer and so that's what they're doing for you if you if you need gear if you need uh team merchandise if you need jerseys if you need whatever you need hockey lacrosse uh they can take care of you it's hockeywolf.com ow, 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 ow. so uh before uh before we talk about hockey stuff like what's been going on the last few weeks bud like what's you, you kind of been mia on the thing I, like i don't know you you're you're in a doctor's office right now it looks like and um, I don't like. Are you getting your doctorate? Like, are you practicing? Or like, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, no. Uh, I'm I'm going to see my fake doctor. No, this is actually my work office. Uh, these are the leadership principles of my real job. Um, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. the funny thing on how I got these is uh, there's a guy. His name's Frank. I don't know if you've heard of him, uh, <laughs> but he actually he actually outfitted uh, the building that my company owns. So okay. he had a bunch of like prototypes left over that are from the building. And he was like, do you want them? And so I hung them up in the background. And it's funny because I get on Zoom calls and people are like, are you in the office? And I'm like, I'm in my office, which is better than your office. So, that's that's smart. That's really yeah. smart. And then you think, uh, Frank, once he becomes a VIP guy, he'll uh, supply you with some BLPA Big Show stuff in the background Probably, yeah. to make it look yeah. official like we're in a studio. Um, so, I mean, other personal life, like what's, what's going on? You, like, you just been busy. Like, what are you doing for the, yeah, fourth? Man, happy 4th of July, by the way, to, to you and to, I mean, I'm American too. So happy 4th of July to me as well. But, uh, first I, I want to say, um, super grateful for all the uh, people that have served in the military and it sure. makes 4th of July possible, uh, for all of us to enjoy. I hope you guys have a great 4th, good barbecues. I hope you don't blow your hands off with fireworks. They don't do fireworks up here in Canada. Uh, unless it's like, uh, like I live in a, in a, in a very diverse neighborhood and by diverse I mean everyone's like East Indian. And so they have those big East Indian weddings that you always see. And they always, that's when they, they set off fireworks, but they're definitely not doing it on 4th of July. That's for sure. Gotcha. Well, so yeah, I've, uh, well, I think the last time we talked was right before my cruise, right? It was right after Cleveland, right before my cruise. Yep. Yep. So if you go back to when I was in Cleveland for the tournament, until last week on Tuesday, it was something like 40 days. I slept in my own bed three times in those nice. 40 days. So yeah. it has just been uh, a crazy whirlwind of travel for me. So it's been nuts. That that does sound. Uh, listen, I know, I know, I know that that lifestyle, and it sounds yeah. fun. It sounds fun. Uh, on sometimes, the start, sometimes at the start at the start of it. Yeah, you're like I'm about to go on this adventure quest, even. Yeah. And then you get in in the middle of that adventure and that quest, you're like, God, this. I just want to fucking go home. I just just want to sleep in my own bed. That's all I want to do. I want to sleep. I want to take a shit on my toilet. Mm -hmm. I'm sick of shitting on other people's toilets. Well, I I, I love shitting on other people's. You know what? I don't love shitting on public toilets. And there's a reason for that. And the reason why, like, listen, I can go in a hotel toilet all day long because I can see that it's clean. But people don't give a fuck about other people. They go in there and fucking spray the fucking seat with their fucking dong hose. And it's all over the goddamn place. Got dick particles all in the fucking air. Just and DPs everywhere. The, the dick particle index is off the fucking charts. Yeah. And I got to go in there and it's either expose myself to dick particles or shit my pants. And I'd much rather, you know, have dick, dick particles, particles in my mouth. Dick particles it is. 
you know? And so, you know, so if what I want you to take away from this episode, everyone out there that's listening on, on, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitch, on whatever the fuck, what I, what I want you to take away from this episode is if you use a public bathroom, just think about the person that's going to come there and have to sit on the fucking toilet lid after you, like give it a little wash. And, and I, listen, I get it. You go in first and you're like, Oh, someone pissed all over. I'm just going to fucking, you know, join the Add party. To it. Yeah. At some point, somebody has to clean that up. Yeah. And I'm fucking tired of doing it. And I just got a shit. I got, I got a shit. Do you Sorry. think women's bathrooms are like men's bathrooms? No. I've always said like men I, just don't. And, and as a man, you have to know at some point you're going to have to shit in a public toilet. Right. So yeah. if we all were just courteous to each other, we could all just shit in public toilets and it would be okay. When I say the BLPA, the mission <laughs> is to connect the world of sport and make it a better place by playing that sport. A key in that is make it a better place, yeah. right? And part of making this world a better place is where you can shit without having someone's piss on your ass. Yeah. And the way we can nice. do that, we, we can all, we, we got 24,000 people in this group. If all, it, it, let's say, I think that the thing is 80% of them are women, okay? So 20, 2,400 is, is 10%. So if you multiply your 2,000 by eight, you know, you're, let's say we're 18,000 and some change. Men. men if 18,000 goddamn men go into Stop a public restroom the and they start even if they do piss on it if they just take a little time to wipe it up give a little wipe guess how guess how much better this world would be infinitely in, yeah. in my view i agree I so agree. that's just that's basic i don't know how, why we're on we're, public we're, toys, we're, but it, it is there it's yeah. real this is a real this is a real problem i mean this is I, a real go, issue. I mean here's the only issue like if you go in there like i've been to some toilets where the diarrhea got the best of them and the diarrhea is spread over there like a, a pistol. I don't know what you do then. Like, yeah. I, I'm not cleaning that up. I'm just like, well, I'm shitting in my pants. Yeah. So but maybe if we're just all like this much more courteous, like, well, I think we're all, more. we're all about this, this much. I think <laughs> that's pretty big. Yeah. Well, we're being generous. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I want to let you, I've been in the movie theaters this whole last week. Like every, I, I've seen three movies. I saw the Elvis movie. Okay. I saw the Minions movie, The Rise of Group, yeah. and waiting for two years to see that with my little guy. And then just today, before this, I saw Top Gun. All right. Which was the best of the three? Well, Elvis, because I love Elvis. They, they were all good. I mean, they, they, you can't go wrong with any – anytime you get butter popcorn and sprinkle a little white cheddar seasoning on it, it's, it's fucking it's, – it's a, it's a time, it's time, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, Elvis, just because the Elvis movie – like, I'm an Elvis guy, right? So, I like, I lived and breathed Elvis like a huge fan. My grandmother's a huge fan. It brought back – I cried. I, cry, I talked about this on, on the round table, uh, which by the way is a new show that we have for the BLPA. It's not me. It's not Jason. Sometimes I jump on it just to chirp people. That's just my style. This is a little yeah. bit of style right there. That's what I do. Uh, but uh, Top Gun was fucking, I mean, it's also the latest one I, I saw and I had to watch it by myself. I was that guy because my wife okay. and mother-in-law went yesterday and watched it. And she's like, you have to see it, but you have to see it in the movie theater. And I'm like, well, shit, like I'm getting ready to leave every weekend for the next 12. I'm gone. And she's like, just go see it tomorrow. And I was like, all right, here I go. So I went in and saw it. And it's, it's, have you seen it? I haven't, but I've heard great things. Dude, it's, it's, it's fucking yeah. like, I'm not, listen, I'm not going to, whoever the Facebook user is, I'm not going to, to spoil uh, Top Gun. You can't really, they're fucking fighter pilots. It's they, Top they do, Gun. They do fighter pilot shit. If you don't right. know, if you don't know what Top Gun is going into it, then I don't, I don't know where you've been living. We can't help the last, you. Yeah, I can't, you shouldn't be watching this show. You're not someone right. we want to be around. Uh, but it, it, it's really good. It, it's it's it's. It, I will say, the one thing that this isn't a spoiler. It, you see it right at the first of the show. Goose's sons in it. You know. Okay. What are you gonna, what are you gonna, what are you going to do with that? Goose's yeah. sons in it. Okay. That's that's a, that's a hard that's a hard pill to swallow right at the front. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Uh, but it got me to thinking. We need fucking me and you call signs. Okay. You know, look at like Maverick, uh, Goose, 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 and then Goose's son is is Rooster. And then you okay. have Iceman. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have Iceman. You know, that, that was back in the old one. I, so we have Merlin, Jester, Hondo. There's so, so many cool ones. So we need to think. We should take it from our the people that are listening to us. What what should our call signs be? Yeah, if you you guys that know us well, uh, throw, in, throw in the chat here. What, what would our call signs be? And yeah, then it's... we can pick – should we pick from the list of our own or should I pick one for you and you pick one for yeah. me? Well, yeah, we'll pick the best. And listen, I don't think Thundernuts is going to be a call sign that can actually be used. Fair. Like, I don't know if the military, I don't know if the military would let you use Thundernuts. I would try. 
for sure. Well, yeah, I, yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's like when you when you make a beer league hockey uh, team name and you always try to push the boundaries, right. like the Nashville Sexual Predators. Yeah. Like, it's, 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 you know, um, and so like the Test Eagles, that's a pretty good one. Uh, yeah. You know, so you always try to push the boundaries. Uh, uh, I mean, Thunder Nuts is a funny one, but can you imagine like, so whoever's ordering you around has to say, <laughs> you know, they just have to call out thunder nuts over that's the radio. The best part. Yeah, that's the best part. I know, but part. listen, when you're when you're locked in a dog battle, dog fight, I don't know. You don't want to be laughing. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to. That's fair. You know, I'm in a dog fight here, and someone says thunder nuts. Well, guess what? I'm laughing my ass off, and now I just got shot out of the air. So it's a little tough. Well, well, could I just be thunder, and then my friends call me thunder nuts? Maybe, or just okay. nuts. N u t z. Oh, there you go. That's a good one. So, uh, and so, someone's saying that some of the actual signs of pilots are hilarious, and most of them are disses. Uh, someone someone said mine should be eagle. I like you know, I like my that proclivity one. from yeah. from uh, yeah that, that is a good one. Kamishki is another one, but I'm not I don't listen. I no I, that makes me sound like I'm I'm Russian. And speaking yeah. speaking of Russia, okay, I want to talk about Russia. Remind me to talk about Russia and this this uh, goalie that was going to get drafted in into the NHL, and then they arrested him for okay. not. Jumping for, we'll talk about that Ooh. in a second. But here's what I want to know about Top Gun. Okay. okay? I could not fly a fighter jet. I know that. I know my limitations. My limitations sure. are here on the ground, uh, skating slowly through the neutral zone. That's yeah. that's what I'm good at, okay? So good. <laughs> Big bench guy right here. Yeah. I, on the bench, I'm the fucking best player on tournaments, bar none. But think about being a, a, a fire pilot. Like, just close your eyes and think about it. You're fucking flying mm-hmm. through the air, whatever mock fuck, mock fuck shit or whatever. And you get to shoot some some airplane down, like an enemy jet. Like, how the fuck do you walk around after that knowing I just I just shot a 20 billion dollar airplane out of the air, an enemy, you know, like you, you, you're you just fucking walking around shoulders fucking back. Just like, yeah, just um, thunder nutting it. You're just, just like, I got the biggest nuts in this the, bitch. Hey, can you can you imagine being that guy? You're fucking you just you just fucking landed and you hop out and you do the top gun. You fucking high five. You can be my wingman anytime. Uh, and then you go out to the bar that evening, and you drink a lot of beer because they're getting them bought for you because all your all sure. all the all the boys they're like right thunder nuts right here get them one get them, thunder nuts get them one get them one you got to break the seal, but your belly is a little rumbly, and you walk into that fucking bar toilet there's piss all over the shit, so it's over bud it's over worst See, day ever we we gotta fix this this is yeah I know there I know COVID's still a thing, this is a pandemic too. All right. Yeah, I agree. It, you see, it I, might be the next pandem- pandemic. It could be. Current hey, and new, next. There's a new Thor movie coming out. And you know why I reminded me of that? Is because I look how hard I bang my thing and my camera makes me think I'm strong as Thor. So, okay. So let's talk about hockey stuff. Have you read this thing about uh, about this Russian goalie? I haven't. Like he was going to be – like it seemed like he was going to be the the, the, the next Russian – like the, the team Russian goalie for however long. He's a good fucking player. He was going to get drafted. And he just got arrested because they said he was going to go to the draft – evade the draft he was going to go to the nhl draft leave and he was going to evade his military conscripts and i don't know the whole story but they fucking arrested him with his family took him injected him with some shit and nobody knows what's going on with him right now that's pretty crazy that's fucking nuts sounds like some movie shit yeah and maybe it is propaganda maybe this is just u.s propaganda like setting it up i'm not i'm not above fucking believing in propaganda i love fucking propaganda yeah propaganda the fuck out of things because i want something i want something to believe in you know tell me what to believe i'll believe it you just fill me full of fuck whatever but but you got to make me believe it like you can't just tell it to me like sell it to me yeah news articles news articles have podcasters telling me about it like spin chicklets guys come out and they talk you know what i'm saying like let me know but just think about like how many pro-russian nhl players are there can you imagine them going back home right now and then being like, God damn, like they could fucking just lock me up. Yank me out at any time. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. I would, I wouldn't, I, I, I just wouldn't go back home. Yeah, me neither. I'm, I'm just staying here. I'm American now. Yeah. So, so they got, they gave you your first, uh, hold on, I got, I got to pull off this graphic. Uh, sorry guys. I'm sorry about losing this graphic here. Limbacher is Harry Mitts. That's what they say your call sign is going to be. Oh, can you okay. ensure coming to, um, we got snake skin. Uh, but anyway. Again, guys, if you're listening and you're on any of these Discord, in any of these channels where you're watching us live, not listening to us on the podcast because this will get uh, you know pulled and then re-released as a, a standalone downloadable podcast, you guys can 
just go to this link right here. I'm going to post it right in the chat and you click on that and let them know that you can show, they can show your name on the chat. So we'll know who it is because someone just said big dick energy for sure. And I don't know if they're talking about me or you, or they're talking about the fighter jet pilot that walked in and got pissed all over, you know? So we, we want to know, uh, see, that's it. Someone just said, acknowledge me, uh, Nikki Kamish. I will acknowledge you, but What's when it says Facebook, Facebook user, user, I don't yeah. fucking know who you are. All right. So you've been acknowledged, but I, who, who, who are who, you? This could be Goose's son. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So what's going on in the world of hockey? There's a lot of stuff going on in the world of hockey. Yeah. Hey, can I tell you about my hockey last night? I, I can't. Can I tell you, can I tell you first that I've literally, I, I counted up last night. I've played three tournaments in 2022. That's all the hockey I've played. That's pretty impressive. And I'm going to, I'm going to Seattle it, this, this week. This is Dex week, Seattle. Yeah. I've got a pair of skates. I've only tried on, never skated on. And I'm going to go out and fucking go full send. I'm going to go half send. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to skate hard. I'm going to go half send. I like it. Yeah. Okay? Just ease back into it. I'm just going to ease. Yeah. I'm just going to ease. I, listen, cause I'm, I'm a man. I'm 40. <laughs> I, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want this guy to explode my heart here. So I'm going to, yeah. I'm just going to, you know, get, get my stamina back up. I, I also haven't played much hockey as, as you heard, I've been on the road quite a bit. Um, so like, I'm also currently easing back in before the Denver, uh, decks because I'll be there. We're going to be together. Yeah. Me that and you. Boy. Yeah. Is, is it, is this restream stuff set up on your laptop? This is on my desktop currently, but, but I can do it on my laptop. Yeah. I think we bring the laptop and then yeah. we'll sit, we'll sit in the same room, but like battleship, like battleship okay. game yeah. style, yeah. like laptops folded up and yeah. I'll be like, B12, and you'll be like, something about shit. Yeah, I'm like, okay. this is a fucking killer podcast. Uh, and so we'll do that way we can do it live and sit and talk to each other. And, and we'll also, we'll bring some people in. We got to give something away. Okay. Let's how do, do you think we should get, how do you think we should give away? Well, I mean, I think maybe just going off the people that have followed your instructions and I can see their name. Is that how we should give something away? <laughs> okay. Okay. Here's what, here's what's going to happen. I, I, I got a link. Okay. It'll let me invite guests in here. Okay. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Ken Ventura, I see yeah. you. I can yeah, see your name. You. We see I, you. I, I, I don't know if I can send him a private chat. Oh, fuck. What did I do? Uh, I can send him a link, and we can pop him right in here. Okay. And we can talk to him. This is, right. this is, this is, this is listener engagement right here at, yeah. at its highest. Okay? I, I also saw Robin and Jeff and John okay. are all in there. Here's what I, I want to see. Kenny Ventura, click that link. Uh, Facebook user, I don't know who you are, bud. Get you a link. Who are you? See this? I think he's just fucking trolling me. Yeah. I at this so. at this point, if anyone can see who that is, it says commission give me a link. Put it in the put it in the damn chat. There's a yeah. link right there. Narc Join. Funny. We need a see? narc. See, there you go. There's literally a, a link right there that people can click. They'll come right in here to us, and we'll be able to talk to them, see them, chirp them, and and give them an opportunity to win a prize. I like it. That's 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 what technology can do for us. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Who's this? Oh, this is Tom. You got hey Tom, you gotta show us the camera, bud. Tom's in. I don't know. Okay. So we'll wait till we see someone's face over here on the side and I can bring him right into this chat. All right. Okay, so tell us so you so you haven't played much. Yeah, you, so you, I played you, last night. Okay. I was this close to a hat trick. That's pretty close. But I had no goals. That's a ooh, that's a it, tough. It's one. it's tough to do. But can I explain it? Yeah, yeah, I definitely okay. do. So this close to a hat trick, first one going in on a breakaway, beat the goalie. I mean, just absolutely beat him. Yeah. Hit the post harder than I've ever hit it before, posting out. So that was ooh. one almost goal. Okay. Okay. Second one, goalie makes a save. It pops out. I pull it around, and as I'm putting it in the back of the net because the goalie is way out of position, ref blows the whistle, blows it dead, lost sight of the puck. Fucking I rest. put it in the back of the net. Second close call. Third one, I get the puck on a breakaway with an empty net, and I was just gassed, and I just left the puck behind. I just, I just fucking kept skating and was like, oh, there goes the puck. That's, That's the closest point. I've ever been to a hat trick with actually having no goals. Yeah, you know that's and you know I if that if any one of those first few pop up, you probably go off for five or six. Probably, probably. I mean that's probably. just in my expert opinion. 
yeah. that's what I think would have happened. And you know, I, I just, uh, yeah, it's, I can't even remember the last goal I scored to be frank with you. It's been yeah. that long for me. Yeah. I mean, I well, know there was one, there was one in Iceland for sure. Was there one in Omaha? I can't remember. Probably not because I was playing defense. Uh, and then Memorial Day, I think maybe maybe I had one, but I don't remember it. They weren't they weren't like that one time I was going up against uh, Frank. I right. was coming down the wing. Me and Frank locked eyes, just fucking looking at it. And I pointed. I said up there, bar down. And he he uh, he laughed, chuckled at me like I was being bullshitting him. And then I did it. And uh, it's probably the, probably the, the the goal he probably remembers most. The uh, the rumor is the the post is still ringing. It is. 100 percent Nashville. They 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 literally. Uh, it did work. Uh, Ron Hockey, you're, Ron Hockey's in. See, look, he did it. He was probably yep. the one who told me to acknowledge nice him. Nice job, Ron. Thank Ron. Way to go. Way to follow directions. Ron, do you want to come in? Do you want to come here? Ron, click click this link. I got something to talk to you about anyway. All right, let's see if we if, let's see if Tom's still here. Tom doesn't have a camera, but we're gonna get him in here and see see what he's all about. Okay. Okay. Yo, Tom, you here? Tom. This isn't starting off good. The yeah, tech isn't working. All right. Tom's gone. Tom's right. not here. We tried. We tried. Uh, so uh, here's here's the deal. Here's my schedule. Here, here, here's the schedule for the next seven months is what it seems like. Every weekend, a different tournament. All right. So basically, uh, I'm in Seattle and then Denver. And then Raleigh, North Carolina. And one of the people asked, "Are you going to be in Raleigh?" I'm saying he's going to be. I'm I'm pushing hard. It's it's not a no yet. Okay, I'll leave that's it at that. Yeah. And then the weekend after Raleigh, we're in Austin for the BLPA Bash. Yeah. And then we were going to do Halifax, but we didn't get the interest for that. So, so I get that week off, but which is good because then I can I can leave a little early and go to Oklahoma because then Oklahoma City is the next weekend. And then after we leave Oklahoma City, we're in Alaska. And after we leave Alaska, we have two. We have the Nashville draft, and we have the Boston BLPA uh, bash. And then September starts, and this is where my mind gets a little hazy. Uh, okay, we're in Buffalo after the Labor Day weekend, and then we're in Columbus, and then we're in uh, Charleston is the last weekend. There's one. There's one in between Eagle us. Eagle River, and then we're in. Uh, Charleston. Charleston, South Carolina, and then we're in October, which is Minnesota, and then Vegas. after Minnesota is well, but is there something between uh, Minnesota and Vegas? There has to be something there. Maybe I thought it. Was, I thought Vegas was second weekend of October, but I could be wrong. No, Vegas is the twenty third through twenty fifth. Oh, that's right. that's yeah. that that's the uh, beer league world championships. Okay, yeah. And then we have a weekend off, and then we're back for the the Vegas. decks in November. Um, and then I think we have a one that second week in November, and then I think we're off until uh, New Year's with SoCal. Yeah. So B- Buffalo is Labor Day weekend, Labor Day weekend. And did you know that if you come, is that Big Dad? Is Big Dad the one said, imagine not coming to NC when I'm playing goalie? Big Dad is playing goalie. Big Dad, if you're at home, get on your camera and let's let's chat let's chat this out. So Big Dad, when you when you get a chance, just join join the uh, thing. If and Big Dad is playing goalie in North Carolina, I feel like I have to take an opportunity to try to score a goal on Big Dad. Like, how do you pass up that kind of opportunity? Well, he, he, well, here's the deal. I mean, he, he, here's the deal. Um, Big Dad is a good goalie. Like, I don't know if you know this. Like, Big Dad uh, – are, are you saying I can't score on good goalies? No, no, no. no. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> but, uh, no, Big, Big Dad is really good. He's actually the only goalie that I've ever seen have – uh, three shutouts on Saturday, and not win the not win the championship. So is he the greatest Saturday goalie of all? Time? I don't know. I don't think because I've only seen it once. I've seen Frank do this repetedly. Okay, so we, need, we is, need more sample size, bigger sample Zach, size. Zach Tomek is another one that's really good on Saturdays, and for what he just can't put it together on on Sundays. And I don't know if that's a product of him or if that's a product of his team because I feel like Tomek we could have pushed him over the top had he listened to to me. The guy that you know has, has ran the most events ever right. and won the right to choose a guy and said this is who you should choose in Omaha and then let us down. Uh, Boomer Sooner, uh, Robert, uh, we just got another big commit today. But uh, uh, so hey, I, I just yeah. want to address John's comment here. Can't yep. score an empty nets. 
Listen, I don't know how you are when you when you've got an empty net. My heart's just not in it. Wait, I, why? I, when I see an empty net, I'm just like, is it is that a real goal? It doesn't feel like a real goal. Mm. Oh, hey, we have our first guest. All right. We have Kenny in here. It looks like he's on his phone. He's jumping around, but we're going to try it. Here we go. And Lolo, yes, there are a bunch of Saturday goalies in the BLPA. Lots of them. Mr. Ventura, how are you on, doing, fellas? my friend? What's up, man? Doing good. Mr. Hey, Mr. I, I, like, uh, I like the call sign Eagle. I mean, that's a good, I don't get to pick my call sign, uh, but if Jason would kindly pick it, that, that's probably the most fitting one. Uh, so we appreciate you, one, uh, being – being in, involved and uh, engaging with us and all the other stuff you do to support us. Aren't you already a VIP member? Yes, I am. Oh, VIP. But you already got, fuck, you, are, you already got all the things except the Boston jersey, eh? Except for which the, one? The, the, I have uh, the BLPA jersey. And you have Boston. the tank top. I have the tank top. So, But you don't have the blue Boston jersey, the, the original I, blue one. I was on Team Blue. Oh, God. This guy. He, he literally has it all. <laughs> this, is, I have I got, this, is like, this is like when I was a little kid and I was trying to get my dad a, a Christmas present, but it's like, what do you get for the guy that just has everything? Like, he just yeah. – so, so okay. Gloves. Well, gloves. You guys yeah, know. Gloves. Kenny, Listen, Kenny does love his gloves. I yeah. think he just sent me a picture a second ago of more were, gloves. Were they eagle gloves? No. Well, no. they're not real then. I mean, what, he doesn't really have a thing for There's gloves some, uh, if, if they're not the real ones. Of, uh, Panarins, brand new Panarins. Oh, okay, okay. And what? Oh, yeah. uh, what is he? What's uh, he wearing? Uh, Warrior. Uh CCM. Oh, let's see. Are you a CCM? Oh, okay, sweet. Or are you a CCM guy? Like, what's your what's your glove of choice? Uh, I actually like Bauer. I, li- I like Bauer the best, but I, I wear just about. No, so you're not like me. You're not. You're not loyal. No, loyal. no, yeah, I'm not. Lo- I have I have one pair of Eagles. One pair of Eagles. I pro- half my gloves are probably Bauer. And the rest are split with uh, CCM Warrior. Hey, you're getting you're getting chirped pretty hard in the comments here. Uh, Jeff <laughs> Jeff Peck up here said, uh, joining us live now is a man from 1995 with AOL dial-up internet. <laughs> Which I don't know what kind of server. Like where where are you actually? Like where you live? I I live in Massachusetts. They don't have internet in Massachusetts. They do. I'm outside though. Well, yeah, listen, I just literally watched Top Gun and the shit they can do with fucking <laughs> radars and shit. Like, it, it, I, I got to believe that everywhere in the United States has to have some kind of stable internet connection. But, okay, well, here's what we'll do. I'll find something. Is it choppy? Well, yeah, it's just, yeah, you can't even see your mouth move when you talk. It's pretty funny, but whatever. It, oh, it'll, it'll play well for the recorded uh, version. Yeah. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask you one question. You get one chance. One chance and one chance only to answer this question. And if you answer it right then I will go into uh, my garage that's full of BLPA goodies. And I guarantee there's something you don't have in there. And I'll grab that and I will send it to you. So here's the one question. And if, you, if, you're, a, if, you're, a, if you're a big fan and you've been supporting from way back, you'll, you'll know the answer, I, I think. All right. Who is the biggest scumbag in NHL history? Oh, shoot. The biggest scumbag in NHL history. According yep. to you. Well, I mean, I mean, it should be taken as the gospel of Jesus at this point, if you believe in that. I don't know. Do, 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 do. I thought you hated Gretzky. Is that your final answer? I'm going to go with that. No, oh, he fucking nailed it. The biggest scumbag in the history of the NHL <laughs> is none other than uh, Mr. Wayne Gretzky. And Mr. Wayne Gretzky, if you're listening, I'm sure you are a listener. <laughs> Um, I mean that with all due respect. Yeah. I mean, the, the theory behind this is that in beer league, there's a, one guy that's universally hated and it's the fucking go hard, try hard. That's fucking out there putting up nine, 10 goals and just being a dick about it. And that's Wayne Gretzky. Like you, his whole career. Like six, six goals wasn't enough. Wayne, you need the Wayne trick. You need nine. Like, come on, fuck. So that's why Wayne Gretzky, in my opinion, biggest comeback. And now it's starting to be Connor McDavid, but you know, he hasn't, he hasn't uh, uh, reached Gretzky status. Well, you win. I will go out tonight into my garage of goodies, and I will find you something uh, that you don't have, and uh, I will send it to you. When's your next tournament? Uh, DC. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to wait. I don't want to have you wait that long to, to get it. I'll, I'll mail it to you. Lastly, before I let you go here, what 
Uh, tell us, uh, tell us your best draft experience story. All right. Uh, so I've done the two Boston drafts. Um, so I'd like to say probably the best draft experience story was probably this past Boston draft. So uh, that, that was the team I was on with Jason. I was on with uh, Frank was our goalie. So Frank Frank was on fire Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Sunday. He tanked. He tanked. And he told us. And he told us. He goes in the locker. He's like, you guys are going to need to score like eight or nine goals today. And, I don't and have you didn't. It. And no, you guys no, did we not. Couldn't. We did not. <laughs> It's a hundred percent true story. Frank walked into the room Sunday morning and said, "Listen, boys, you're going to need eight or nine. I'm not feeling what I was feeling yesterday." And I mean, he must have let in six in the first period. Yeah, we you went from we went from first to worst. We went from like the we were the greatest Dex team in history to uh, <laughs> uh, we we couldn't win. Yeah. Well, in uh, an you know, Frank did that in Vegas as well. Uh, we, we 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 were barn burners that that first day. Yeah. And, and then so that's why he's got them on. He's the best Saturday goalie I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. And no, the, you yeah. know what I, I really like about Frank is it he, he knows it and he's honest yeah. about it and he'll let he's you know. Self-aware. He's self aware. He's yeah. He's got a, he's probably got the most self awareness of any goalie I've ever seen. And he just he just he just said, hey, listen, I was good yesterday. I'm not today. So deal with it. And that's that's basically it. And that's why I respect him. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, and someone's called calling me out because I did have that lace bite on 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 Sunday, so I wasn't able to play. So it is it is a little bit. Frank did win in, in Omaha. You you are correct, uh, but I, I feel it was tainted a little bit because uh, he went up against uh, Tomek, and Tomek wouldn't listen to me. I, I and I firmly believe had Tomek listened to me, we would we would have walked through that tournament. But you know what can you do? Hey, you that's why we play the games. That's why we play the game. Yeah, he didn't, and and you know what? I don't think he learned. I still think in 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 Denver he's not going to be a goalie because he's hurt. But in Denver, if it would happen again, he'd tell me to get fucked right again. Uh, yeah. That's just that's just, that's that's how goalie they think they know best. That's just how they are. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, Kenny. Hey, thanks for uh, thanks for being on. Thanks for supporting. I'm glad I'm glad uh, we have at least one really really loyal listener. And I know there's a lot of them, so I'm not that's not throwing shade at anyone else. Like, you know, Big Dad or or Peck, I'm going to throw shade on them right after we get off uh, here with you. So thanks for being here, buddy. See All right, kitty. guys. See Take ya. care. But now we got to see if we can remove them. Boom. Got him out of here. It hey, it's, it's always, it's always good to engage with the guests. You know what we need? We, we, we've got a producer and the yeah. producer could be doing all this stuff yeah. while I'm performing. Like, like we're the talent. We, we shouldn't have to be doing, I mean, I'm not, but yeah, you no, also but, shouldn't have to be doing anything. Yeah, I mean, no, we're, we're, the, we're, we're both talented in our yeah. own rights. You know, yeah. Uh, and yeah, but here's what I'm a firm believer in that. You shouldn't ask people to do stuff you're not willing to do yourself. Right. So if I learn how to do it myself first, then I feel OK asking people to, to do this stuff. Yeah. And so that, that so. that's that's and, you know, I think uh, I think what I'm what I'm really excited about with this producer is being able to to get more shows off and going. I, I listen. He's not a real producer. He just. I think he's fake. It's like Jason's doctor. Yeah. Um, oh, here he, we he's go. A fake, fake guy. But uh, we got a second show right now. We have a second show. It's called the BLPA Roundtable. It it features, and I use the word feature loosely because none of these people should ever be featured in any okay. kind of serious manner. Uh, Danny Vibes, uh, Big Dad, Kyle, Big Dad, uh, Thornton. I don't know if you say Thornton or Thor is the end silent. I don't know. Fucking spell your name correctly. Thornton. Thornton. Yeah, is it Thornton? No, I Thornton. don't know. And then and then Jeff Peck. And they make up a show called the BLPA Roundtable. And they're gonna be on after us. Like after we get on, they're gonna jump on and they're gonna do their show. Okay. Uh, and they've been chirping us, bud. Pr- pretty oh. they've been chirping our show. They I think they wanna go they, they wanna have a pot off, is what it okay. sounds like. It's what it sounds like to me. I'm down. Maybe it's a peef, like a pod beef. I don't know. Okay. But they they are already in here claiming that they're the longest running show uh, in BLPA because they've recorded two times in a row. Okay. And I might add, uh, one time I I did everything, and then they right. did it the second time. So really, it's been one. So now we're one for one. Today they'll get the two, and we'll see. We'll I'm see. I'm available we'll tomorrow. What, I mean, what what kind of battles would we be like? What kind? Yeah. We'll, hey, you challenge me. I'll be on here every fucking night. Yeah. You know. 
And if that's what they want to do, if they if they can keep up with the hardest working man in beer league off the ice, that's me. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm all for it. But it is, but it is a, a different show than what we have. Like they have different perspectives. Like they're looking at a lot of these these uh, like what are they called live barn footage and okay. chirping them and chirping them. Uh, and li- listen, Peck's already getting chirped. They literally said in the in the comments, "I'm surprised Peck's on a round table. How does he pass the mic?" Oh. Boom! Dropped him. Boom! Roasted. Dropped him. Woo! Dropped him. They're actually they're, they're actually a good show. They it, it, it's actually a good show. Like I I always wanted to expand like the vision for the podcast is to have one every day and not the same one because you know ones, we, yeah. we got we got we got busy stuff like we have the goalie show uh tinny talk like they they're on the blpa network they don't get on this and do it maybe i'll talk to them about doing that but i, I always thought it'd be cool to have different shows and not just about hockey you know the, the whole beer league lifestyle love life all that stuff we got the, the beer league magazine coming out that's going to feature all that stuff too and so i'm all for other people saying hey i want to do a show and then me helping them create it and then able to give more content that's not just my everyone knows what i like because I'm, I'm omnipresent on that group like everyone knows that you know uh, so I want to know what other people like, and I want you to take what you like and share that with. Because my thinking is, there's always going to be someone that you resonate with. Sure. Like l- even Frank, as weird as Frank is, like there's fucking people that would listen to Frank fucking talk. For sure. And his views on life. Yeah. You know, um, like I said, Big Dad's another one of those guys. You know, you rub some people the wrong way. But he, see, he doesn't You're, resonate with you, but he resonates with somebody. I and mean, that's just right. the way of the world, you know? Yeah. So let's let's get all those all those kind of different resonating uh, POVs and get them, get them in the BLPA, just, you know, constant constant uh, content. That's what I Yeah, I, I like it. So, and then we take over the world. Well, the pl- that is always – that has always been. Uh, <laughs> 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 the round tail show <laughs> is almost as long as a pet shift. Bring the energy, John. Bring yes, it, baby. Yes, That's what I, yes. I, I listen. I listen. I, I've I've almost made a, a career doing beer league stuff by allowing people to chirp me. Yeah. I just take it. Yeah. And it warms my the cockles. You got a strong chin. You can okay. take them. Yeah. Just I, one I after can. another. But it warms it warms my insides uh, when I see people chirping other people. Yeah, I just I just sure. like seeing it. You know, it's just it's just good. And we yeah. chirp out of love. We chirp out of love. Hundred percent. Everyone must chirp out of love. Yeah. Okay, last but not least, we've we got NHL offseason. We want to touch a little bit uh, on that. And then hopefully we'll have more beer league content when I'm at, back to, you know, playing beer league. You know, yeah. you know when, you, when you don't play, what are you supposed to do? But I do know I, I do know that I told you about my new skates. Why well, I had to sell other new skates that I got. And I sold them on Sideline Swap. Have you sold anything on Sideline Swap? I have not. I what bought things. A, yeah. What a trash experience I had. And really? okay. Not try. It, it was easy. It was easy. Okay. It was convenient. I probably could have put my time and sold it in the group of 23,000 people that we built. Probably would have been easier, doable. It was taking more time. So I, I, I hopped these skates that I bought that, that I didn't like on Sideline Swap and I sold them in like two days. But they took like $150 in fees. Ooh. $150. Ooh. Bucks. I get the fourteen dollars that they for shipping because I offered free shipping. Yeah. Got it. Uh, I even get the three percent that they charge on seven hundred and fifty dollars. So that's twenty to twenty two fifty. Okay. Yeah. So now we're we're at thirty thirty five thirty seven dollars. Six fifty. Yeah. Yeah. And, and but I get like a bill for one hundred and twenty two dollars. So for what? Because that's their fee. Like they oh got to make God. money too. It's absolutely insane. And I invited them on there. I said, hey, I said, here's the deal, Sideline Swap. I have this podcast called VLPA Big Show. We got 23,000 people uh, in our group. Come on, I want to talk about I, – I didn't I didn't hit them with the I'm going to ask you about your fees and why you take so much money. I hit them with the – just come on, let's talk about uh, Sideline Swap with, with from our groups. They, uh, they haven't uh, hit me back. Well, they haven't accepted it. They haven't accepted. They, I've laid down the gauntlet. And they have not. Uh, they have not accepted. Okay, fair. Well, I, it, hey, the invite's out there. Sideline swap. It's it's an open invite to know about these fees. Like, listen, I get you got to make money. Yeah, I get it. But what about like a, just a flat, like a five? I don't know what volume you're doing. You have to be doing a, a considerable amount of volume. There's a lot of shit listed on there. Yeah. 
And so it's just, I, I don't know. I, I, I just, I can't understand it. It's unfathomable. I guess eBay, kind of those fees are up there too. So maybe we just need to make a internal in-house BLPA uh, swap thing where, you know, we'll, we'll just take the flat 5% fee yeah. and eventually, you know, we'll be able to build, you know, BLPA land, the, the, the hockey rink to rival all hockey rinks. So, yeah, exactly. I like it. So, um, dude, dude, 10 more minutes in our conversation that we forget to get back to after Dick's giving draw and I would have bought them. I don't know what he's, Oh, Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. So, I was, I was about to get on Dex Gaming Draw and he was asking me questions and I, I'd already listed them and then they got sold before I could get back to them. I got it. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mike, Mike Fry. Mike Fry, uh, friend of the show. Great guy. Yeah, great friend of the show. G Foss. Yeah. G Foss. Yeah. We got Mike Fox, who is best friend of the show. And then yeah. we got great friend of the show, Mike Fry. Maybe maybe Mike's are just where it's at. Maybe, it. maybe we should change our names to Mike. My middle name Mike. is Michael, so I'm already there. <sighs> I just have to go by my middle name. Yeah, that's what I do. I go by yeah. my middle name. Maybe I'll okay. change my first name to Michael. Michael Nicholas uh, Fleetheart. I like it. Yeah, I like that. Um, okay, uh, we, we got NHL offseason. Obviously, I don't watch the NHL anymore. Uh, yeah. There's a fucking agenda. Uh, and it, it's it's even showing itself more in this offseason because the Flames are about to lose Johnny Gaudreau. Yeah. Um, and I believe this is a, a mandate from the NHL. From on high, Gary Bettman called it down and said, Gaudreau, American player, you need to go uh, and not be playing for the Flames. When the Flames have offered him, you know, nine and a half million dollars a year for eight years. Um, and so I will, I don't really even care about NHL, but let's talk about the offseason. Okay, yeah. So uh, selfishly, Preds made a trade today. They acquired Ryan McDonough from the, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Good move. And it's always funny to me when trades happen, if you follow them on Twitter, because every comment is very polarized one way or the other. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, Tampa screwed Nashville. And then it's, oh, Nashville fleeced Tampa. Um, mm-hmm. So it's always funny to me to uh, to see how people react and like how one transaction can be looked at totally separate on, it's on politics. both sides. It's, yeah. it's Republican, Democrat. It's, it's, that's what, what, what it yeah. is. It's, there's no, there's, you're never going to get a, a fan of one team to say, you know what? That was a great deal for both teams. It was always this way, and yeah. and it's just the same as like, if like Johnny Gaudreau, great player, right? I'm, I'm going back to this because I'm giving you an anecdote of my experience, to so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But when he leaves, there's going to be a big big contingency of the fan base that talks about how much he sucks. Yeah. And how glad we didn't oh, give him ten million. He would have been overpaid, and and it would have been too much money. Too and, little, can't perform yeah. in the playoffs. Yeah. All that malarkey right right it's always everything slanted towards your team because you want your team to be the best right and i think the deal as an outsider is great for both teams uh tampa and nashville yeah i think for nashville maybe leaning a little bit better because you know the thing the same with uh like a drove uh forsberg with nashville is might might leave for for nothing yeah. right it sucks and i think that they're just saying hey hey look motherfucker we're, we're trying look what we did yeah. now what do you think about here i think that's a, a solid i don't know if, if even with forsberg and, and then you know mcdonough if that pushes them over to, to become a stanley cup i don't even think it really does but at least they're saying listen we're gonna pull our dongs out and, and we're gonna yeah. show you that we'll, we'll try to get something done yeah do you and think tampa they, needed the cap space and yeah. they got it so yeah. yeah i agree i think uh you know, Nashville got a good, a, a pretty good veteran defenseman, maybe a little overpaid, but they have cap room, so it's not a big deal. So they got basically a player for two guys that weren't ever going to make it in their system. Yep. And Tampa got the, the cap relief they needed and a defenseman that they can utilize if they need to. Yeah, it, it, I, I thought it was a great move. And we'll see, like the offseason will definitely be interesting. Uh, with the cap not moving a, a ton, I mean, there were so many teams that were so close to the cap. Yeah. That's why it's it, the Johnny Gaudreau thing for me, uh, because it's so close to you know near and dear to my heart. Is how does how does that work? How does that work out? Like what other teams? I, of course, you you don't get a 115 point winger coming into UFA very very often. Right. If if ever, I think. Yeah. And so it was a great contract here. I mean, you, you could you could you could hope for no better of a contract because they almost re- reached a deal with Gaudreau before the season. He said once season starts, I'm focusing on that and. Yeah. And then he went out and just fucking lit it up. Crushed it. Yeah. 
And, and so when you think about Johnny Gaudreau, he's what, 28, 29 years old. And he's at a point where, what, what is it about money? Is it about winning? Is it about family life? If he leaves the flames and he goes back East because he wants to be closer to his family. Right. I respect the fuck out of that. Sure. Because you, you get to choose, like you've given what you've given to the organization. Yeah. And, and now you get to choose. I respect that. But on the flip side of it, it, it can't be money, right? Because right. every team's going to offer nine million dollars a year. Like, what's yeah. what's another five hundred? I mean, five hundred grand is five hundred grand. I get it. I, I'll never make five hundred grand unless you know you guys start Patreoning. Unless like twenty thousand people just yeah. gave, you know, just, you know, twenty bucks a month. Twenty five like, bucks, know. yeah. Um, and so, um, at the end of the day, I think you have to ask like what his motivations are. Family, cool, I get. But if you're if you want to cement your legacy, don't you stay? Don't you stay in, in the in Calgary and you people love you here. They love your whole family. Like you see him in the playoffs and everyone like Johnny Gaudreau's dad's out playing in pickup games out here in Calgary and people are just eating that shit up. Yeah. And you can stay there and you can you can probably set every record for that organization. Get your name in the rafters and cement your legacy forever. And yeah. so for me, the, if it was me, I know I want to be immortal. So immortalize me, motherfucker. Put my thing up there for history. People will know me. And I don't know if Johnny Gaudreau leaves, he's still going to be good. Don't get me that. But any organization he goes to, I don't think he's going to get that. He's just going to be a good player at that point. Yeah. He's not going to be that. And, and what teams are good? Because obviously I think all athletes want to win. I, I would imagine. Sure. Um, what team is going to be good that can actually afford to say, Here's seven years, you know, $75 million. Not many. Yeah. Yeah. I, who knows? But for me, it would be all about what city on a beach can pay me the most. Just just so we're yeah, aware. No. Uh, yeah. I 100% get that. But at the end of the day, like if you look at LA, I, I don't know enough about uh, LA's roster. But I think they, they were just, kind of – They just traded for Kevin Fiala. So they got yeah. Fiala. They – They've got some young, decent guys. They've got a bunch of old guys going out. I don't know that they're a, a Stanley Cup contender now, but they could be in Johnny's career if he signs a seven-year deal. So who knows, right? But what you're saying, basically, you're saying Anaheim. You're saying uh, Florida, uh, Anaheim. You're saying LA. You're saying Florida Panthers, or you're saying Tampa Bay. That would yeah. be the four you would choose from. Yeah. That's I mean, and I get it. Like who who doesn't want to be warm? you know, beach weather. Yeah. But are you thinking about that as a, a new dad with a wife, you know, the kid on the way, uh, w- would it change? Cause now it's, he's going back. If he's saying family, it's because who doesn't want, you know, help raising your family uh, with, with, with your family. Right. Right. Cause they're new married. She's pregnant. I believe that's the thing. And I think she's from back East. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's a good, it's, it's always interesting. Like, and I wish we could, I wish we could give truth serum to players and, and to Find talk about what, what really was, like what's the real motivation because we'll never yeah. know right if you know because even even when like uh, the Tavares thing happened I remember the off season with Tavares uh, I had a buddy that uh, Oakland was only born and bred Oakland player he he played for the Islanders and so he knew John and I asked him and he said if I was a betting man I would say that Tav- Tavares resigns back in New York because of the legacy and all that stuff and then yeah. he. He, he, didn't. he obviously didn't, right? right? And so it, it would be interesting to see what those what those motivations are in that yeah. time. I don't think we'll ever know because I, I know that players know that if they if they're truthful, then the fan base that they left or they're going to you know would, would not be you know happy with that. Right. Yeah. But it would be it would be cool. Maybe that should be our show. We should be we should make a show where that's all we do. We just want to talk about that part of the game. I don't give two fucks what you do on the ice, you know. Tell tell me about why you chose to play where you play. Yeah, that would be that would be interesting to find out for sure. If we could just talk to pro players, if, if yeah. we have that kind of pool, that's all we need. So I think we just got to reach out. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've <laughs> talked to, I've talked to Connor Garland. Okay. Connor yeah. Garland on the show with me. Yeah. Um, and uh, there's there's been a couple of I, I interviewed Sam Bennett one time. So I mean, it's not like we can't do it. You just yeah. have to be persistent. We need where's this producer? Where's yeah. the producer? Let's let's start with trying to get a show out every week, and then we'll move into some bigger, better things. Hey, hey, we got the round table. What do you want me to do? Sure. sure. So, um, okay. A- anything else that that we that we want to touch on before we leave? Um, it, hey, this week is going to be hard. I will do a show this week, but I, here here when I go to Seattle, 
When I go to Seattle, I'm literally, I'm flying to Vancouver Thursday, driving down, and then Sunday, driving back, catching a flight back Sunday night. Uh, so it's going to be tough to do the show then. We might have to do it on a Monday night if that's, if you're free for that. Um, but there's a lot of tournaments that are coming up. You're going to be in Denver. We're going to do it together in Denver. Yeah. Pardon me. Um, and then you're, you're probably going to be in Raleigh. So we'll do it in Raleigh. It's not a no. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's leaning heavily towards a yes. Okay. And, and, you know, just like how, when we ask players why they chose where to go in free agency, I'm going to need to know if you, if the tournament you turned down, I'm going to have to, why? Do that. yeah, I need to know. Okay. I, I need That's to fair. know That's we're an inquisitive show. That's fair. You know? Um, and other than that, guys, I mean, that's the show for this. I, I think we covered some – I did – oh, fuck. I didn't even give away. Okay. I still got three things to give away. Yeah, How do we want to give them away? Shit. How do we want to give them away? I mean, let's uh, – who came up with the best call signs? Let's start there. I got oh, one wait. for you. Okay. Go. Let's, let me see who, who said it. I got to so, scroll here. The only one for you was Harry Metz. I mean, that's a decent one. I mean, that is a good one. I I, I like that you wanted me to go with Eagle. Yeah. Oh, it was a Facebook user. Mm, if only you had identified yourself. Yeah. I like bald eagle. Uh, I think that's that's a really good call sign for you. Listen, I, I, I'm I'm obsessed right now. I've been watching TikToks of people getting hair transplant, and I need one. Yeah, I need one. I need to get one. I mean, Just my head's gonna be big and fucking misshapen for like three months, but it's already big and fucking misshapen. And all I need is like 15 grand, and I go to Turkey, and they fucking zap me up. And yeah. I think that's what. So how – everyone has a GoFundMe, and I've always been against GoFundMe, <laughs> you know? Like people are doing GoFundMe for – like my buddy hurt his heel in yeah. fucking in, in a beer league hockey game, and they want to yeah. post that. No offense to that's you that did it. But it's just – it just seems not as important as my bald head, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And yes, they do make a helmet this big, Sue. I have a I mean, player helmet. I don't know if you saw this. It cost 400 bucks. Special made, but it, yeah. Yeah. I also have a goalie helmet that, that's that big because I am a goalie, all right? Yeah, I've I haven't seen played it. in a while. He saw it. Everyone's seen it. We know. But wouldn't that be wild if I came like back with just like a full fucking lush head of hair? Yeah. I, I, now you I've just got, come in and you're just shaking it around. Yeah, I got I got hair like you, and I'm just fucking – no one can even talk to me. Just fucking <laughs> shaking it the fuck around. And you know what? I can guarantee if I had fucking hair, I'd never have to fucking pee on a public – or poop on a public urinal with pee on Ever. It. Ever, because I would just yep. be like, dude, here, look at this hair. Get in there and wipe up this piss. All right, how are we giving this stuff away? I don't know. Should we just go with the people that were the most active? Yep. All right. Uh, Ron Hockey, for sure. Get this guy. Mr. Raising Canes himself, bud. Yeah, let's get let's get Ron something. What do we want to give Ron? Ron's going to get uh, – listen, <laughs> I've seen Ron before. This motherfucker will look good in the tank top. Okay. So he's winning the tank. Let me show him. All right. Uh, Mr. Uh, Ronald Hockey, can you believe that's his real name? It's pretty impressive. Tank top for you. Tank top for you, Ron Hockey. All I need for you to do is DM me your address. There you go. Uh, I think we got to go with Robin. Well, didn't she say she wanted the blue jersey? It's definitely possible. Robin, what do you want? You tell us. Better make it quick. It's a little big, Robin. But it'll look fucking good as fuck on you. She's a VIP member, so she would already have the black jersey. Okay, so that's the winner. Yeah, those are the two, and then we'll give the what? We'll give away the black jersey on uh, just in the group. I'll give away. Okay, the black perfect. Jersey. Love it. So other than that, guys, uh, I really appreciate. I really appreciate everyone being here. Let me talk really close to the mic for those. Uh, I really appreciate uh, every everybody supporting us. I appreciate everyone coming to draft experiences, listening to our podcast. Being a part of this community that we built, it means a lot. It means the world to us. Let's do it some more. Definitely yeah, tournament. Doing it. Alaska for sure. Alaska needs some help. And listen, I really want to play in Alaska. We need to get – doesn't everyone want to see John Andre? Like he's up here fucking flying down here to play hockey with us. We're going to try to go to his home. Yeah. Play smart kit there. So Let's other than that, anything to add before we go? Nope. I think that's it. Uh, support uh, hockeywith.com and uh support all the stuff follow us on tiktok wlpa if we get a thousand users we can make this live on tiktok and you know that's where all the fucking cool kids are so yeah. go to tiktok other than that guys uh be good or be good at it peace